Okay. Welcome to the Monday, September the 20th, 2021 meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let staff and members introduce themselves. Benjamin Keating. Make sure you're right near the microphone. Benjamin Keating. Meredith Crandall, staff. Steve Everett. Martha Smirsky, member. Liz Pritchett, member. Eric Gilbertson zooming in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Then I will let Meredith describe the remote meeting procedures and process. All right. So for everybody on Zoom, I'm going to share my screen. Um, this little item is really more for anybody watching via Orca. Um, and then I'll go through a few of the remote meeting procedures. This will be, I think, mostly for Gary, um, who I don't think has done this since we started going remote. Um, so for those viewing this meeting via Orca Media, you can participate in tonight's meeting via the Zoom platform. You can use this link here, which will take you directly hey, in. Gilbertson, it's uh, Tyler, one of the nurses from Family Medicine. Oh. Um, uh, Eric, can you mute yourself? Blood pressure medication. So our We're hearing. So there we go. I just muted you. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so you can use the link, um, or you can call into the meeting using this phone number and this uh, meeting ID. Um, if anybody is having problems with getting into the meeting, please email me at this email. I'll be monitoring, monitoring my email through the whole meeting. Um, for those attending via Zoom tonight, turning on your video is optional. Um, and for everyone attending, please keep your microphone on mute when you're not speaking. This will reduce background noise. Um, also, the just a note that the Zoom chat function should only be used for troubleshooting or logistics questions. If you have a question or comment about an item on the agenda, please raise your hand. Tonight, so far, we just have applicants, so that really shouldn't be an issue, but who knows? Maybe you'll have thoughts on each other's applications. Um, yeah, the, we don't have any public commenting right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, so just a note that because we have noted that this meeting is accessible remotely to the general public um, in the event that i get noticed that the public is unable to access the meeting it will need to be continued to a time and place certain i will now hand the meeting back over to the chair okay do i hear a motion from any of the members to approve the agenda do i hear a second i'll second it eric all in favor of the agenda, speak your names and or raise your hand. Eric. Martha. Liz. Okay, we can go to the first application for 7 East State Street for Incognito Salon signed. Come up, have a seat and describe your sign. Yeah, make sure that microphone, you can pull the whole thing closer to you if you need to. Okay. Well, I, it's them. Okay. <laughs> um, so I am applying to um, put my sign up at my new location. It was um, at 2070 State Street. It is black. In the background, it's made of wood. Um, I've had it up for 10 years. The lettering is white. Um, I don't remember what the white color was when I did it 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I'm basically applying to um, rehang it in my new location. It's the same sign, just in a new location. Correct. Would you like me to share the screen? So that, that would be great. Okay. All right, let me scroll down to where it is. Have here. you thought of a signboard out on the, like the sidewalk edge? So anybody walking up or down the sidewalk can a see it as board? well? Yeah, yeah. I, I have, but I don't need a permit for that. Uh, right? You have to talk to the Department of Public Works. Oh, okay. they have some um, standards. Okay. For the signboards, yeah. I'll double check because the last, yeah, I will do that. 
Yeah. But she doesn't have to come back here for no, it. No, she doesn't no. have to come. And she doesn't, it's not a zoning permit. Yeah. It's yes. just Department of Public Works right, standards. Right, you can't put them in like certain places and things. Location. Right, yeah. Yep. Exactly. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm having a hard time there. All right. So there's the sign up close. And this rotate. was actually a sign that was approved the last time you moved it. This has been approved twice by the city council because <laughs> it was actually on Elm Street too. <laughs> so you never realized you were on the installment plan. No, <laughs> this will be the last one. <laughs> so this is the up close over the door, right? Yes. And then, so I'm gonna have to rotate this again, guys. There we go. And that's a little further away. I think it's um, what, 48 inches long. What um, the width or the yeah? Yeah. Going for that. I think we've got that in there. The measurements are in the and maybe form. Uh, maybe 14, 14 and a half. Uh, 13 and a half 13. inches tall by 48 inches wide. Yep. And again, I, it's obviously the only place you could put it there because you don't have any other space. No, it's not. Um, there's not a lot of frontage there. It works well with the name of your business. <laughs> <laughs> it has worked well in every location I've been in. <laughs> um. So I don't know if this is something you'd be interested in, but you do know I think that under zoning you're allowed like one open flag. Okay. If you want, I don't think that needs a zoning permit. You can just come in and talk to me or whatever. Okay. But there's, I think there's might be size limitations in it. Okay. But I think you can have an open flag, which okay. might just sort of call attention to where you are and help people get people's attention. Sure. Bohemian's getting a pretty good plug because we just <laughs> say we're fine Bohemian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any committee members have any questions, comments, or suggestions regarding the location of the sign? Looks good to me. Okay. Me, me too. Okay. I'll go through the criteria. There's a set of criteria and I'll just read through the ones applicable. Size, location, design, color, texture, lighting, and material of all exterior designs within the district shall be compatible with the building and structures acceptable. Where appropriate signage shall respect the original sign placement and sign bands on its structures, this location is acceptable. If the building has multiple tenants, there should be a consistency in placement and size among all signs acceptable. Recommended the sign placement be centered over the entry, it certainly is acceptable. Sign installation shall minimize damage to character defining materials, that's acceptable. Sign design color and typography shall respect historic precedents and shall be the appropriate scale for the existing and new buildings acceptable. Sign support structures shall be compatible with the building architecture and must not be overly complex or dominant in and of themselves acceptable. All in favor of the application, speak your names and or raise your hand. This is Martha. I say yes. Eric yes. says yes. Who is yes? Okay, the application is approved. Thank you. Uh, so he's gonna have a form for you to sign. Okay. And then you can give that back to me like right now. Okay. And uh, I've got a pen. I need to put a pen up there actually. Um, I know I don't because Gary's not here. Huh. Um, and it's just a sign there's no lighting. So we should be able to get that out to you tomorrow. Do you want us to mail it? Or do you want us to just call you when it's there? Wow. Okay. Sign it right below my name there. That's it. Perfect. That's yep. your right. pick. Thank you very much. Is this You're your welcome. Right. It is. Thank you. Thank you, Sonia. Great. Have a good night. Good luck. And do we have someone here remotely for 24 North Street? We do. We have Gary Miller. Hi there. Hi, Gary. Do you want to describe your application for your railing? 
Yeah, sure. Um, we have an existing um, railing system that has um, kind of four by four pillars and in between is wainscoting and all the wainscoting is rotted away. It's just a, it's really a flaw in the design. Um, and so rather than replace uh, in the whole, the posts are now rotted and everything. So rather than replace the wainscoting and just have it rot again, we decided to go with a cable um, cable system. So it'll be eighth inch stain. It, uh, it'll be a, a four by four uprights of, um, at, and then between uh, one by or two by sixes and two by fours in between and topping and then spaced at three inches apart will be eighth inch stainless steel cable. And they'll be spaced four inches or less? Three, three inches. Okay. Yeah, three, I, I'm doing three inches. Is there, I thought the, um, I thought the requirement was that they needed to be three because they would move slightly in, in case they're disturbed and that would uh, keep them within four. It's just extra safety, but that's fine. Okay. You are can I do, can I do four? Am I, am I allowed to do that? You are correct in your assumption with cable because cable has the ability to spread apart. They like to keep them closer together so that you stay within the four. Okay. All right. I'll do three then. Thank you for the clarification. And Gary, are you using um, pressure treated wood or regular wood? I'm using Douglas fir. Mm -hmm. Okay. For both the posts and the top? Yes. Yeah, I talked to a woodworker who told me that would last a long time. I don't like really working with pressure treated unless I have to because of the chemical element. Mm -hmm. I understand. Um, yeah. Anyone on the committee have any additional questions, comments, or suggestions? All I see is head shaking, no. Okay, we can go through the criteria for this. Criteria, uh, number 1A, additions and alterations to non-historic and non-contributing structures shall respect and be compatible with existing patterns and setbacks found in adjacent buildings. Um, that's acceptable. Existing buildings should be recognized as a physical record of their time, place, and use. That's acceptable. Alterations to buildings called for by public safety accessibility or fire code shall be designed to maintain the character of the construction materials and features to the maximum extent feasible. That's acceptable for this design. And architectural features including but not limited to cornices, windows, shutters, fan lights, trim, other forms of molding or character defining detailing prevailing on the existing building should be considered in the alteration. That's acceptable for this application. And all in favor of the application, speak your names and or raise your hand. Eric, yes. This is Martha, yes. Yes, yes. And for Tammy, for recording purposes, uh, Ben had his hand raised. And you want him to? Uh, yeah, so uh, Gary, sign. what yeah. we'll do, um, just for recording purposes, there, there weren't any recommendations here, so we don't right. need you to sign this form before we issue the permit, but we do want you to sign it. So I'm gonna scan it and email it to you. You can just sign that last page and either scan it back or drop it off at City Hall. Yeah, I'll that be in town tomorrow morning. So if you um, uh, if you if wanna you... send it to me, I can drop it off with Audra in the morning. Okay, or, I, or you can just come in and sign it in person, which would be easier for you. Yeah, I'll just come in and sign it in person. Perfect. That's easy enough. Okay, awesome. great. And you don't have to go through the trouble of scanning it. Perfect, we'll see you tomorrow morning, Okay. Gary. All right, thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Thank, Thank you, Gary. You. Good luck with your project. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. And has everyone had a chance to review the minutes of September the 7th? We have. 
And I make a motion to approve the minutes of September 7th. This is Martha. Yes. You want to second it, Eric? I, Eric will second it. Okay. All in favor, speak your names. Martha. Eric. And Steve. So the minutes are approved. Does anyone have anything else to add at this point? If not, do I hear a motion to adjourn? This is Martha, I'll move to adjourn. I'll second. All in favor of adjournment, raise your hand or speak your names. Eric. Yes. Martha. Ben. Steve. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank Meredith, you. You've got to find more challenging applications for it. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye now.